Hello everyone, welcome to Momentos de Tecnología, Tech Moments. In this video we're going to see how to share files in Google Meet, but previously we have to add them in Google Calendar. If you are the type of people that organizes and plans ahead, this might be one of the most useful tools in Google Meet and Google Calendar. To begin, we're going to select a date and time, in this case, Monday, the, uh, April 27, and we're not going to add a title yet. I suggest that we move into the More Options button in order to preview every, th every single menu that is available while creating a Google Calendar meeting. Now we proceed with a title. Once we have our meeting title done, we double check the date and the time that we might get wrong if we didn't pay enough attention, and then we follow with location if we need it and guests. In this case, I'm going to add myself, but with an email that it's outside my domain. Once I've added myself, you see that automatically a Google Meet uh, URL is generated for this meeting. You can also add it manually if you don't invite anyone else, but know that this happens when you add yourself or somebody else to the meeting. If you want to check, I suggest that you pay a little bit more attention that we're going to do in this tutorial to this option because this might help you not to miss any meeting in the future. Now we proceed to the part that we're going to add the documents or the files and the links. First, I'm going to show uh, here in the Add Attachment, we can go to Upload from our computer or if we want to share from our drive, well, these options might be more useful. In this case, we're just going to click here, select Files from my device or from your device, and I'm going to add the file that works for me. This file is going to be uploaded to Google Drive. That's something important to take into account. Once the file is uploaded, you're going to see the Google Docs icon here, so you double check that's going to be in your Google Drive, of course. If you want to add a link, you might uh, think that you just paste the link here, but I suggest that you insert it via this option. You click it, there is an option that says what text you want the link to be displayed on. In this particular case, I'm going to add a Kahoot. Uh, URL for test and uh, you just add or paste your link here in this case I'm just going to add uh, the home page URL and I click OK this way th the URL is going to be inserted through this text once this is done we're going to hit save I suggest that you click send here so that everybody is notified that you just created this appointment uh, but I, in my case as I added myself I'm not going to send an email to remind me. This other option appears because I invited myself my personal email which is outside of my uh, domain. I hit invite and then this menu which is really important is going to appear. Remember that I said that the documents or the files that you are uh, attaching to your Google Calendar and your Google Meet appointment are from Google Drive. Well, as they are from Google Drive, they require the access or the permissions that you give in Google Drive. There are these two options and depending on your situation you might want to uh, select one or the other. This first option is to share the content that you just uploaded with the person or the people that it is in this guest list. If you are sure that these files are not needed to be shared with anybody else that is not included in, the, in this guest list, then you might leave it here and you just select if the people can view, comment or edit. But if you're not sure if you're going to add somebody else to the meeting afterwards or if you're going to share the meeting link with some people uh, afterwards, then you might uh, click this option. This allows everybody with the link to be able to see the document. In my particular case, it does not matter. I'm going to click Invite with the uh, second option, and now my event or my meeting, my appointment is generated. Now, in order to see how these things are going to be seen in the uh, Google Meet interface, then we're going to go to Google Meet. In order to go to that meeting we just created, we're going to click our appointment and then copy our URL for the meeting. We go to another tab. 
and we paste the URL we just copied. This leads us to this transition page in which you'll be able to get ready to join the meeting. In my, uh, in my particular case, I'm going to leave my microphone and camera off, but you can select it otherwise. We join now, and once we're into the meeting, we are going to be able to see these options. In this case, it doesn't matter if I get into the meeting as an outsider, as a guest, or as the host. In this case, the options that are going to be seen here are the same. Notice that we have this little uh, add attachment icon here, and it only appears if we have indeed an attachment into the meeting. We click this option. This shows us two tabs, the details and the attachments one. We're going to check this one first. Here we have the title of our event that we uh, wrote and we created in Google Calendar and we're going to see the description. If you want to add a lot more information into the description you can do it there but look that I just added the file and the URL. You click it and it will lead you to another tab. It's not going to get you out of the meeting so that's important to note. We go back into the meeting we see also the joining information that's regularly there and we can see also this attachment tab. Once we get into this tab we're gonna see all the files that we shared previously via Google Calendar. People are going to be able to click it and are going to be able to go directly there not needing to go back and forward between more apps in which you're sharing the information with your colleagues or your students. So this is a very useful tool if you plan your um, meetings ahead and you are really organized with all of these uh, kind of issues. Okay, so that's basically it. I hope that this video is really useful for you and that you have learned a lot while watching it and hopefully you might uh, implement this in the future in your meetings or in your classes or whatever and consider liking the video and subscribing if you want to see more content like this and you really enjoyed it. This has been Momentos de Tecnología Tech Moments and we'll see you next time. Chao, chao.